Today we will be dealing with ulnar collateral ligament tear. Um, it is where the ligament that stabilizes the wrist joint on the ulnar side is detached and what happens is that the ulna will actually protrude posteriorly in the um, wrist area here. So what you're going to see is like a large bump uh, more so than you would if it was attached which actually if I push on my wrist on the pinky side um, it will actually cause it to lower in the wrist joint. So what we're going to do is some specific strengthening exercises. Rotation um, is an irritant to it, whether it's pronation or supination. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do three simple exercises and three uh, specific planes of motion to help strengthen the wrist joint, provide stability, and um, reduce the amount of pain that's not only in the ulnar side of the wrist, but when this becomes real unstable, the ulna becomes unstable at the elbow joint, so you'll also have elbow pain. So what we're going to do here is just three basic exercises that are really quite simple. The first exercise I'm going to do here is just a basic palm up exercise here. I am in a palm up position. The band's running along the inside of my forearm here, on the front side of my forearm. Palm up exercise. I'm going to do about three sets of 10 to 15. You can do 12 to 20. Um, but just each week kind of progress your resistance so you're getting stronger. The next exercise is in the thumb up position. Bands are running along the inside of my elbow here. I'm extending my wrist and fingers, spreading them apart, and strengthening my wrist joint, and now in the thumb up position. One of the most critical exercises that I've noticed for myself, which actually helps reduce the amount of pain um, in the wrist joint and the, the amount of instability, is the palm down exercise. What you want to make sure you're doing here is the bands are underneath the arm, but when you're extending your wrist and spreading your fingers apart, that you're actually not drifting, you don't want to drift towards the pinky side. Um, which is what your body wants to do. So what you want to do is make sure it's a nice inline, straight position. And it's really hard. I'm weak in this position, so I'm going to reduce the resistance here. There we go. I can actually get my fingers apart and moving in a nice, um, streamlined position. Because I don't want my hand to deviate and go towards pinky side. And you can see that I'm weak here, so I want this side to coming up nice and smooth. Okay, so basic three exercises. Palm up, right here. Thumb up. Palm down. And again, this is really tough for me in this position. And you'll notice that when you do these exercises, in about two weeks, you'll start noticing a big improvement in stability, a reduction in popping in the wrist joint, um, less pain at the wrist joint, less pain at the elbow joint, because now the ulna is more stable. So what you want to do is perform your exercises and increase the resistance each week so that you are making uh, progression. If you've got any questions um, or comments, feel free to get a hold of me, and uh, I'll keep coming back with uh, new exercises and new programs for your injuries. Thanks a lot.